Mm, now I have to wait another two weeks. Good morning, everybody. I look rough. Why do I look so rough? I'm getting ready to go to physical therapy and... Oh my gosh. Yesterday, I tried to film, give a little bit of an update. Cue the clips. Um, I was just having an emotional night. If I'm gonna be honest, I'm in so much pain. Like, my knee is still walking. I just, I don't feel good. I just ended up putting the camera down because I felt like it was a good time to kind of let myself feel and experience the roller coaster of emotions that this journey is. It's a little bit different this time and you know, that's something that I, I personally need to learn to accept, which I'm having a really hard time doing. I still can't sleep at night. My kneecap is just bothering the heck out of me. I see the doctor next Tuesday. It's Thursday now. So I'm going to physical therapy today. I'll bring you guys along with me. about the lighting but i am about to have some quiet time and i think this is really needed especially today i feel very overwhelmed today was a tough day so i'm just gonna listen to some music journal get my thoughts down read some verses and i'll catch up with you guys when i'm done done with my quiet time and I have never done this before it's a definitely it's out of my comfort zone but I really felt it on my heart to share kind of my thoughts let's just say I wrote a lot I feel like I've just been dealing with a lot of anxiety and worry lately so I really tried to put all those emotions into prayer and just pour my heart out to God I wanted to tell him what was bothering me and ask him to you know help me find peace in the situation I think right now in particular I'm just I've just become kind of blinded by my circumstances and the negatives of this side of the experience and I feel like through this season in particular God's really asking me to take a step deeper in my faith. Originally when I started this I had a whole different scripture that I wanted to really focus on but then my heart led me in a different direction. I actually ended up on the book of James so specifically chapter 1 verses 2 and 3. It says, consider it all joy my brothers when you encounter various trials for you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance. I felt like those words really hit home to me. The beginning in the first verse, he basically says, you know, to praise him in the trials, which is so counterintuitive. But these trials end up proving that they're here for a reason. These trials have a purpose in life. Looking back, I can completely relate to that. The first injury, I was absolutely devastated. I ended up, you know, basketball was the focus of my life and losing that for the first time, I, I felt like I lost my identity. And I feel like right now I can't understand struggling to accept still why this is happening, but I want to be a physical therapist and I know this will help my patients. I'll be able to connect with them and it will all be a part of my story. But then again, you know, it doesn't justify the pain. And that's why I love this scripture in particular because it doesn't justify what you're going through but it does acknowledge that God does bring good out of the pain. The struggles that you end up going through, they shape you and mold you. They teach you trust and patience, which is something that I definitely lack. Perseverance, you mature. God's word is filled with his promises that he makes, but he never promised no sailing. He never promised that there wouldn't be trials. Going back to the second verse, it says, consider it all joy, my brothers, when you encounter various trials. So it doesn't even say if, it says when, because trials are inevitable in life. And at the end of the day, that's how you grow. It's an opportunity for you to grow and, and mature as a person. Something that I really want to focus on is just in the midst of the struggles to look up and thank him for everything, the highs and the lowest of lows that I've been put through. I wouldn't be able to grow without it. A thought that I always go back to is when has God ever proven me wrong? When has it ever not worked out? When has God ever steered me wrong? He hasn't. Like 
if God's with me, who can be against me? And I, I feel so strongly in that. I really felt that in my quiet time today and that's why I wanted to share. There's a reason why you're struggling. It will make sense. It might not make sense now, but in the end it will. So continue to persevere. This is where your true character is made. August 15th, one month post ACL surgery. I really haven't been filming as much as I wanted to the past few weeks, honestly, because it's not been good. I think it's kind of ironic in my two week video, I was like, oh, once you get past the two week mark, like it will all be better. But for me, that was not the case. It's actually seriously frustrating and just contemplating life around like the three week point. Like I said in the earlier clip, my kneecap is just really bothering me after having a ton of talks with my physical therapist. Really just focusing on like quad fire exercises because he said, you know, once I decrease the pain and hopefully fire my quad more, then that will keep that kneecap in place because my muscles are so weak. I did try to film a clip of me walking and honestly I watched her back and I was like, wow, this looks bad. It's not at all what I thought I would be at one month. I thought my walking would be a lot more fluid and you wouldn't even notice but right now you could probably tell on the clips but I'm kind of being really hesitant with my knee because sometimes when I bend it my kneecap like moves and pinches really sharp other times nothing happens sometimes it pops in my mind my brain just doesn't know what to expect that's why I'm like being really slow about it well because of that i'm back on one crutch i really just don't want to get into a bad walking habit honestly that's like one of the worst things you can do i'm just going to stick with that until i get completely comfortable on my own i was trying really hard to push no crutches because i feel like i was trying to speed up the process i don't go back to school for two more weeks on the 27th is when i move in and my physical therapist just mentioned like how big of an adjustment is going to be for me I'm just going to be doing a ton more walking and because of that, you know, I don't want to have a bad habit. I'm going to be walking to class, everywhere, literally walking everywhere. I think too, I'm working with my college trainers who I've never really worked with before. It's going to be different, but at the same time, hopefully it's an opportunity to kind of hear a different perspective and see what other people have to say. I don't want to talk too long because I feel like I'm going to be giving more updates after I visit the doctor. That's when I kind of will know more information about what's going on. Other updates, this is pretty much as far as I can bend it. It's about 130 degrees. I'm sure I will talk to you guys after my doctor's visit. Pray that goes well. So I thought an update was due right before leaving this morning. I checked my chart and saw that my appointment had been changed for two more weeks on the 31st. I'm just, uh, it's just frustrating because I was so looking forward to this to have like the peace of mind that nothing else is wrong and the pinching in my kneecap and all that stuff is normal and there's no reason to be concerned. But now I have to wait another two weeks. I feel like I'm used to it though. So at this point, it's not that big of a deal. I honestly just got emotional because I'm frustrated. And this week has been <sighs> exhausting. Like I can't get to break. I mean, in the grand scheme of things, it's not that big of a deal. It's out of my control. I'm just going to keep doing my exercises and continuing to fire my quad. And hopefully that solves the whole kneecap issue. It just sucks. Like, dang. With that being said, I guess that is the end of this week's vlog. This is what my scar looks like. It looks pretty dang good. I try not to end this on a bad note because I don't want to be sad. I just want to say again, as always, thank you guys so much for watching and supporting me. And it's not at all how I thought things were going to go, but that's why I'm documenting it because every journey is different. And the second time around, she's been a real treat, hasn't she? Yeah, she's really making me work this time. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next week. Bye.